this week's flashback. Today we're having a look at issue 18 of the Star Trek collection. Remember on flashback we look back on all the Star Trek ships that they have been doing through the collection again. So here we have the Bajoran Solar Sail. It's The model itself is incredibly delicate. And I know a lot of people had issues with the model when it came, but we'll have a look at that in just a minute. Let's have a look through the magazine. So it's a light ship. It's got some real world science behind this ship as well, actually, because um, it uses solar sails. Uh, if you're into all that sort of space stuff, you'll know that it uses solar winds and energy and particles to propel the ship. It's not something that's science fiction. And this is actually, they're trying to prove it right now. So... Yep, it's the Bajoran Solar Sail. It's really nice CG shots of this. Um, I don't know if they... I, I think the, the sails were CG. I'm not too sure the model was. But we'll have a little look through the magazine. So here we are. We've got a lot of in-universe in universe information. Cisco finds the designs for the ship and then decides to build it and then fly it to Cardassia, which no one thinks he can do. It's light years away. It doesn't have warp engines. Uh, then they find the way that they do uh, and how it happens. There's an accident and it propels it into warp speed. So as you can see, we have um, the back view here, uh, the top here and the bottom. Uh, the front view is the narrow end. This back, this section here, the living quarters, as it's called, or the living capsule, is actually the back end of the ship. Uh, so there's that. Uh, then we come on to the Bajoran system, wormhole and, and stuff like that. Uh, then we come on to designing the solar sail ship. So like I said, it's something that is sort of in world uh, designs to it. Uh, I think NASA and other companies were looking at ways of propelling a ship using the sun. And it sort of took that, took that sort of design there. But these are some early designs. I mean, this is very, very strange. Uh, and then we have like a capsule here. But uh, what we got is this. Uh, I do believe the full capsule section, this here, was actually built um, on stage, I do believe. And as you can see, there's the capsule. So the cockpit's right at the front here. And then obviously living quarters and stuff like that. I think the cockpit was the only bit that was built on, on set. Uh, then we have trivia and stuff like that. Uh, episode obviously Explorers is where it first appeared on the Deep Space Nine. Obviously here we're at the Nexus. The next one we're going to be looking at is the Stargazer. Uh, Picard's first command for the cell design. So that's what we're doing. So make sure you click to subscribe. So without further ado, let's carefully look at the Bajoran Solar well, this Sail. This is the Bajoran Solar Sail. Or Solar Sailor. Um, yeah, it's the most... I think it's the most fragile ship they've ever done. And it's it ridiculously fragile. Mine's... I know a lot of them came broke. Mine did. I've had to reattach uh, the main sail on the front here. And uh, this is just, has just come apart as well. But I didn't notice. But yeah. It's the most... Uh, undetailed one but so delicate um yeah <laughs> shall we have a little close look it's on a uh, it's on a really long stand obviously it has to be i think this is sort of the longest stand they've ever done uh you can see that uh it's missing detail this ship as well um but as you can see it's incredibly light um i think the main body here is die cast and the rest are plastic. So, um, yeah, let's have a look. So you can see where it, I've attempted to uh, glue it back together. I've got the glue everywhere. Uh, that's the front of the ship. This, uh, this section here, which is completely unpainted. You can see the windows. Just here. And the little side windows just in there. But it's, it's unpainted. I uh, would have really liked a bit of grey maybe. To represent that that's the, where they where they see for out of. Um, obviously this is the uh, the habitats bit. So this is where they sleep and and stuff. And go to the toilet and all that sort of stuff. Um, 
it's just there's a bit of dust gathering as well on it it's it's so i'm frightened even holding it that it's gonna break um i think the overall design is okay um it definitely sort of looks like the ship how it appeared uh on screen i think they've done very well in trying to capture what it actually looks like um with what they've got like i said it's very bland it's got these sort of brown which they were sort of a brown goldy color in the sails um as in detail yeah, we have these really flimsy structures at the back here and we have the view um the back section just here i think these are windows as well uh just lacking a little bit of uh just at the front here if i can get up as you can see this it's got the um the circle there which i do believe they look out of at the front there which you can see in the episode but it's so it's so fragile it's very light uh very easily broken as well as uh you can see uh that is still in there but uh i just yeah it's i think it's one of the most frustrating ones but it's one of the nicer interesting models that we get from Egomos. um just because i don't think that is a norm uh, norm one i know when they announced it we were sort of like oh wow how are they going to do it and this is how they did it so this is the front view and then we have the side and back view this is the back view and that's how it sits um overall i think it's nice uh it's just very plain bland um personally do i think it's worth the 9.99 that i paid yeah i suppose so and it's very early on in this series as well but anyway uh, what do you think? Tell me in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Click to subscribe and we'll hopefully see you at the next flashback.